Hey everybody! I'm gonna go and play Civilization VI Rise and Fall continues with our England playthrough. Uh, a couple things. Just you guys dropped some comments in here. I wanted to talk about them real quick. Uh, but let's see. We're at war with our buddy Alexander over here. We're looking to take some of his stuff here. Because partially, I mean, we wanted to steal a settler, which we've stolen. If we can take uh, some of these cities, it'll be worthwhile. He's in bad shape, so kicking him while he's down is a... Uh, it's a mean thing to do, but he's an AI, and he's, he should be used to it at this point. We're also still at war with Harald. And this is going poorly because of the Defenders of the Faith. Uh, we're going to try to... Well, I'm going to try to see if I can get his units to keep coming out here and then maybe test the waters a little bit with, uh, with our Night Corps, or maybe our musketmen up here just to see... What the territory looks like. If it's clear of troops and stuff like that, we might actually be able to take the city down there. Uh, so another thing is... Some of these episodes have been getting a little long. I, I originally started trying to make them about 30-ish minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. And I've been going at probably more like 40 plus these days. Uh, I'm going to try to tone that back down probably. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. I know some of you like the longer episodes. Some of you like the shorter stuff. Um... In general, I just, I don't know. They're getting pretty long. <laughs> and for me, I mean, the reasoning behind it is just, uh, I get into the same mentality I think some of you get into, which is just, uh, it's that one more time thing, or one more turn, sorry, one more turn thing with the, uh, <laughs> you start the game at nighttime and then suddenly you see the sun out, and that's, uh, just how it goes sometimes <laughs> but yeah I need to I need to tone it down a little bit I think get it back into that 30 to I'd like it in the 30 to 40 range again on average I don't want the average to push up to that 45 range I think that's too much because I put out like a couple of these a day dude we're getting hurt here um So really, 45 minutes each is an hour and a half each day. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Hope you... I mean, it seems like you guys are still enjoying it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in general. But that's. But my goal is to, to tone it back down. Because uh, it's a little... It's a little wild right now. So an industrial zone right here would be pretty good. If we mine both of these be a plus three can we get a plus four anywhere someone i think someone was mentioning various spots where we could get some good industrial zones but uh i think right here is going to be a, a decent bet unfortunately we're going to eat up the uh the wheat in the process and not not use it but i think it's worthwhile all right so we do want to get this boy over here to help out with this fight it's gonna be a little, a little harder than we'd like there. Oh, Brazil's our ally. That's right. Another uh, suggestion that came out of here, and I don't know if this works or not. I don't know how well AIs handle this. We could try it with something like, just briefly see if it would work with like Liverpool. But the suggestion is make a city somewhere over here in our territory in like a bad location and then try to trade it to people for resources obviously we can't trade it to our allies because we won't get it back but the whole thing is like to trade it to somebody for like stuff we want so it was like like what if we traded liverpool See, she doesn't, she doesn't take this. So I think that that plan just doesn't work because I think they take loyalty into consideration here or something like that. But maybe I'm wrong. Like, She's friendly, but she won't take that city. So I don't know if that's a... It's a decent idea, but I think they account for it in the trading screen at some point. Because like, I offered her Liverpool, which is a decent size city and, and everything like that. But it obviously would get crushed by loyalty immediately, so... 
Maybe they take it into consideration, maybe they don't. Like, if we offered her leads or something like that, what would she say? Because leads might not get rocked by loyalty, because it's a size 8. What if we say, we would like to give you... We can't give you leads? Hmm, interesting. Why wouldn't we be able to... Oh, probably because it has our special... thing here. Or maybe because it's under... it. Oh, it's under attack. That's why we can't trade it. Probably. So, I don't know. Put you up here. Oh, Tromso now has walls as well. That's annoying. Okay, so they can't attack you this turn, so let's get up here a little closer. So he does have a swordsman present there. Let's see if we can do a little something something here. The swordsman's tough, but we do have a couple crossbowmen he can't get out, so if he brings it out to attack, then we'll just rock the swordsman and, and move from there. We're still looking for that final, that 12th slot player. Wherever they happen to be. Trying to figure that out. And... As usual, someone mentioned I should use the, uh, the fisheries from Liang. And, uh... That's something I always forget to do. I don't think you can use fisheries in our lake tile, though. They think I'm a warmonger. You're not wrong, sir. Ooh. Our knights. They're very sick. Someone help them. If you're with a bank, one hundred dollars. All right, so he's healing up over here. He can help us with that thing. That's oh! This suddenly became a lot more units than I was expecting over here. We need to make sure that no one is getting attacked by these bad boys. So you... Yeah, with the Defenders of the Faith, we just need to... We need to back it up. Protect ourselves here. Because we don't want him... We don't want to fight him on, uh, on bonus tiles for for him so we need to just let him come to us you got some troops there we want to fight them but we want to fight them on our terms and let's see so we oh what do we need to do here we need to get to red coats which uh red coats would be military science Getting the bombard unit would be nice. So I think we do this. I think we do military science then metal casting. Although getting field cannons would be super nice too. Like all all of these right here. Just I feel like we need to do this little section. Section right here. And one of you mentioned in the comments. Uh, this is just a reminder. This is just a friendly tip for people. Uh, Early game especially, if an AI is fighting like a, a city-state or something like that, oftentimes you can send a unit over nearby and then sneak out uh, to capturing the city-state in front of them. So like, just wait till they get it done pretty low, because they're oftentimes pretty bad at actually finishing the job. So it's always just a good tip, it's just... Just handle that. So we were going to drop him down here, but I think... I mean, we want him on another continent, although this is still a potential for some era score. This all, all this other continent stuff up here, other than that, like this is okay, but the rest of it's kind of trash. I'm going to drop him here. 
Tiles are not great, but he'll get a boost. We'll get a unit from it. It'll be all right. We'll get musketmen or whatever up there to help out, so... It's not the end of the world. All right, Manchester, let's get... I still want to build more settlers, I think. No, you know what? We're good for now. Let's get him to try to help out our military situation here. We need some knights out here. Let's get a couple going. And... Yeah. It's dangerous down there. We gotta be careful. I'm not trying to end the war or anything like that with him right now. Because we are doing... I mean, we're... I think we'll pull through. But we do need to be cautious with it. Caution is key over here. So we want to send you back to heal, probably. Here, let's send this musketman over here. Put you over here to heal up, my dude. And you just stand and heal right here. Tarsus? You need a builder, probably, over here. And really, we do, we should move, uh, since we're not, we're not doing settlers over here, we should move him over to Tarsus. That should help out a good bit if we get some choppage going. So normally I would res reserve these settlers for some decent, uh, forward settling. We don't really have a great opportunity for that at the present moment. So, I say we chase. I might just go up here to get access to some, uh, some luxuries we don't have. Or I could go over here to get, like, a potentially better just city overall. This would be cotton. I don't know. I think I'm going to drop it. Maybe up here. It's an okay coastal city. Please, please stop messing up all my stuff. It would be considerate of you to just leave me alone here. Oh yeah, and we, we can get our next thing from Sting here. So how are we looking for religion around here? Sting. I feel like we need we need to be able to snuff out some other stuff here to get to establish ourselves. So I feel like we get an apostle. We get him to start an inquisition. And we we do a little bit of a religious cleanup over here. Cleanup is the term I'll use. We just try to, well, we, like, hitting Bactria, especially, because it's the center of that religion, would be probably pretty good. You're looking to take three of our things for one of our things. Or for one of your things. I can't say I like that trade. But it is a shiny I don't have, and not one that I don't have any real prospects for. And I'm following my rule at the beginning, so I'm going to take it. And she's also an ally, sort of. Not, not an actual ally, but, you know, she's friendly at the moment. Promotion available. So he's still tough over here, tough-ish, because he's uh, in his own territory. They have two catapults. We killed one catapult, or or not? Then they had like a couple swordsmen over here. So we got to be cautious. We have to be trepidatious. We got to watch out, make sure that they don't get up to any shenanigans over there, because the friggin' I don't know, that's so good. It's too good.
I really don't like Defenders of the Faith. It is too excellent. Alright, so we are going to launch an Inquisition here. And then purchase an Inquisitor. Got a square rigging bonus. I don't know how strong your walls are. This might be a bad plan. But right now they've been firing at this gentleman, so hopefully it's alright. Alright, so we are losing loyalty up here, even though we're size 4. We can't maintain size 4 up here, this city is trash. But it did get us a, a musket man. A man of the muskets. Loyalty is falling for us, so if we put a governor up here, who would we put though? Right now we're not making any good use out of uh, out of Leon. So let's send her over here to, to make this thing a little nicer. Build or actually we can just buy a monument to try to help with your your stuff here. And have you build a builder. Alright, so we're looking for love in all the wrong places. We're looking for that twelfth friend down here with our our scout. Hopefully we can find him. Hmm, that's not a trade. Eight gold for a, a resource that makes you better? No. No, B. Sorry, we can't handle that. Oh, well, maybe we should make peace with him. He's beating us down over here. We're getting into some, uh, some of the troubles. Although, he's now moved his guys out, which is, like, what he doesn't want to do. Can you kill this guy? You can. You can kill him. Let's see. Alright, so it's safe up here ish. Until he rolls in a whole bunch of knights or something like that again. So he's been dealt with. Let's go work on getting rid of this. This Brazilian knight's going to help us out over here. He's a Brazilian heir. Kish, you'd be so much nicer if you somehow had this Petra over here. But Uruk is the one that claimed it. We're having some difficulties over here expanding our borders any more than they currently are. I feel like maybe we should declare peace with Norway. I don't know if we're going to get Brussels back. Or, not that we ever had Brussels, but you know, you know, do anything with Brussels here. Defenders of the Faith is too good, and we're wasting a lot of effort trying to deal with it although i think we've hurt him more than he's hurt us over here maybe we took muscat we got a whole bunch of value out of that but i'm worried about him taking leads over here that's not who i want to make peace with so where's your crap oh what will you give me tom trump so no, you won't I don't need any of those special resources that you'd actually be willing to get rid of. Nay. 15 gold per turn. Nay. Come on. Give me a deal here. There we go. All right, so we're just going to make peace with him right now. 
get a little money out of it. Get a little peace of mind over here. We can fix some of our stuff. We already majorly benefited from going to war with him, so... As far as things go, I still consider it a victory for us, but, uh... It was rough. I'm not gonna lie, it was rough. Okay, so he got beat up over here. We need to prevent that from being a thing. Oh, you guys aren't a, a core. Now you are. For some reason, I thought this musketman was already a core. I was just mistaken is all. Nothing too unusual about that. It happens. Okay, so he did get his capital back. So we might be able to go take that since it has no... It has no walls, and this city's actually been kind of tough, so this might... If we just walk these guys over here, it might be a little easier. Although it might be hard to keep it at that point. Rising 9.3, so we're... We're doing okay. We can move our guy along here. We can bring this guy out again. like a city state over here so our inquisitor is going to do some work for us i think i'm just going to spend a lot of my time restoring my own territory with inquisitors right now who just died having about to market economy it looked like my catapult thing died which is unfortunate Let's see, let's get logistics out here. Is there anything else we want at the moment? How about uh, spy stuff? Let's get some spy stuff. So that was annoying. I don't like that you did that to us, buddy. You're in some trouble over here, potentially. Let's move you a step back for a second, just to make sure you don't get insta-gibbed if something walks on you. Clear that, got rid of that crossbowman. We no longer have to worry about crap going on over here so we can fix some stuff. Okay, let's uh, repair that. And then repair your walls. You can't repair your walls yet. We can make sea dogs now, by the way. I'm gonna queue up a sea dog over here. It's era score for us, and it's actually potentially valuable for. I mean, it would have been valuable over here, potentially. But he also has beaten the crap out of us. In his own territory. He did a good job of holding me off over here. Well, Defenders of the Faith did that, so... I can't really credit him for how good Defenders of the Faith is. That's just a friggin' MVP talent right there. I mean, that thing is, uh... It's real good. It really, really halts a lot of uh, aggression in the game. So I'm not a huge fan of it. <laughs> it. I guess it could be nice if you were doing a, if you were going for a peaceful, like trying to do a peaceful thing, then maybe getting, maybe getting it just to reinforce your own territory could be all right. But in general, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. Ability it's really strong, but it's it's just really strong at holding your own territory, which is uh, I Guess that's good for the AI and Probably great in multiplayer. I'm sure people I don't play multiplayer guys, so Forgive me if I don't know But I have to assume That it's like pretty much just banned 
Because it's like, whoever gets it is just going to be the most annoying person ever. It's already, that stage is already banned. Is there a good spot for this hill right here is a plus one. I guess we'll just put a theater square here. We could have uh, boosted this up, but I think it gets a little bit extra from that anyway. It's fine. This is fine. We need theaters going. Desperately need our theaters. So where is an Inquisitor going to do the most bang for the buck here? I think it's going to be in our big, uh, our bigger cities. The original capital, capital, the new capital. We're going to go after the original capital. Geneva. Hello, Geneva. Your quest is to train a ranger. We have one envoy available to us. Not doing anything with that. Make this thing go away, please. There we go. I think... There's a bug in that where if you dismiss it with escape, it doesn't clear this flag out. So you have to go hit that X in the corner. I've been trying to figure out which, like, sometimes the menus stay up and don't go. And I think it's just when I hit escape instead of closing it out via the menu itself. So you want coffee and you are willing to give me more than what I asked for. Dude, I love you. You're amazing. I need salt. I accept this trade. Shaka. Oh. Our crossbowman is hurt. I would really like to upgrade him to a... Gunpowder style unit at some point. That'd be nice. What kind of wall damage can you do here? Let's go help out. On this front. Alright, so he's in he's at risk over here, but hopefully hopefully our battering ram is fine. I wanted to get our guys to be able to attack from uh, the same side of the river so they didn't get any penalties there. Okay, so we were just gonna have you get some farms up here to Improve the area. Move you along down here, my friend. My friend. Right, let's get you going here. So it is faster for him to go that general direction. Oh yeah, we have three movement in our territory now. I remember. We took that, uh, that sweet, sweet, uh, logistics thing. We like that. So I can move to into the city. Remove some heresy here. I like getting them in the bigger cities. I think it gets us more, it gets us more guys on our side. So I'm hitting the capital. I might go hit Leeds or something like that. But it's feeling good to get rid of uh, these hostile forces here. And by forces, I mean religions. And by hostile, I mean not mine. Because they're not really all that hostile or anything like that. They just uh, are annoying to me. That's it. All right, we need to send you to a location where you can steal a great piece of something. No heist available. Steal Troilus. All right, so we can steal from there. Who's a... I'm assuming Sparta is still in the lead in tourism and stuff like that, so... Yeah, she's got the most tourism, but let's see. Let's send him over here. Let's 
see if we can get anything stolen from her. We have our boost. We changed the policy around so we get uh, we get a little bit faster spy missions. Yeah, it is faster. Go this way still. Merge up, please. And then you can go ahead and go over here, buddy. Remove followers from London. We haven't converted you over to Sting, but you're well on your way. And we're getting rid of everything else in the territory, which is nice. Nice. So back to... This would be... A plus three right now, potentially plus four thing if we drop it right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Factory. Let's get you an industrial zone, my friend. Get you healed up over here. All right, you guys. I think you guys are in the clear for knocking this stuff out. Is it... They must have that... Uh, Bonus for the military governor. To where they can't be surrounded. But it's fine. We'll get it. Why can't you attack over here? I guess you just moved over here probably. Right, let's move you guys along here. Mosey on over. Can we find what we're looking for? Specifically, the other the other civilization that happens to be on this map. We need everybody here. We need to meet everybody. I have no idea where they would be. Maybe, maybe they're down here. Maybe I'm too far over. Maybe they're maybe they're somewhere in this range, uh, region here. I really don't have a clue at the moment. Alright, so he's fixed all the damage that they did. Thank you, buddy. And we've really improved our farming potential over here. Get him to come help out over yonder. We got our achievement with him. That's all we were looking for, really. This guy was from... Uh, Nan Madal, which is some sort of Cthulhu in a Cthulhu based achievement there. I assume referenced in Lovecraft in some manner. Nan Madol. But I don't really know. I've read a little bit of Lovecraft stuff and I don't remember that in particular. But I might just have a bad memory. I might be a major center for it. Right, let's keep this. Thank you for those bonuses. So rebellion is happening. Rebellion is fine over here. Um, 1.9. That's not too bad. Can we... The Fixing the monument will help out a little bit. We can move you over here, though. Because that city is now established enough. Let's take a look at where everybody is right now. Let's see how we've been doing. 95.8 science per turn is where we are. Gorgo is at 200.6 per turn. So she is... Not only is she a cultural threat, she is now a scientific threat of a larger proportion here. She's, almost, she's more than doubled... Our science per turn. She doesn't have as many techs as the Congo, but that won't last long with that, you know, with that science per turn she's got going on. Culturally, we're at uh, 64 tourism per turn, 146. So we're in the, you know, we're in the thick of things for tourism. We still need to find the unknown player, who's very small, I think. They're in last place on these, so... It may actually be kind of rough for us to find them, unfortunately. Pedro's on the top here. 
We're in the middle of the pack. We're doing okay. You know, we haven't hit our stride yet, but we are, we're in a decent position here. We're not getting any tourism, not because of our, our numbers or anything like that, just because we haven't met this player. Which is annoying. But we'll meet him. Well, we will meet him. It'll be fine. Pedro. Pedro has him converted, so I, I imagine that... I do think that probably they're down here, so I'm probably looking in the wrong area. I was only looking in here because I have open borders with them. And getting a scout down here will be more complicated. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.